Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be going through how to install Elementary OS Uno. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk. We'll boot that disk and finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. So I'm here on the elementary.io webpage. I'll go ahead and put a, a link in the description below for you guys. Now we'll just jump in and download it first. So as soon as you get to their website, you'll see that they offer the download right here, but it says to purchase it. Well, it defaults you to donate to them. Uh, we're going to try it out before we donate anything. So I'm gonna put, just hit that button there and type in zero and then it'll let you download it for free here. All you have to do is uh, hit download and it begins to download so give this a few minutes and then we'll go ahead and flash it at this point now that i've downloaded the iso i'm going to launch the belena etcher app i do like using this application and you can use it on windows and mac os i'll put a link in the description below and we'll use this app again to uh, go ahead and flash the image we just downloaded onto a usb or cd of our choice I'll go ahead and put an empty USB stick in, which I've already done, and you can see it automatically populated it here. If you want to uh, manually find that USB stick that you entered, go ahead, hit the change button, and find it manually. Uh, it's pretty simple at all. We'll just populate the drives that you have on your computer available in here, and you can just select one and hit continue. Then we want to go ahead and select an image. Uh, I already have the elementary ISO here in my downloads folder. I'll go ahead and select it, hit open, and then what I'll do is simply hit the flash button and it'll begin flashing my new disk here. It might ask you for a password. Go ahead and put your administrative password in. Elementary OS is an Ubuntu based stable release branch that uses its own custom desktop environment called Pantheon. And its default desktop environment is really geared towards Mac OS users, it seems. And uh, it also is pretty Windows friendly because it's very uncluttered, doesn't have a lot of things going on. So, make, so that makes it really easy to use. As you'll see, once we have the install finished, it's very Mac OS user friendly. What we'll do after this disk is done flashing here, we'll eject the disk out of our computer We'll go take it over to the computer we want to install Elementary OS on, and we'll have to boot from that disk. So the first thing we'll have to do is get into BIOS. Every computer is different, so you'll have to figure out how to get into your, into your BIOS boot order menu. Usually there's a tab called boot order at the top of your BIOS screen in which you can go ahead and switch up the boot order, go ahead and make the USB CD disk that's your flashing to right now the first one in the boot order and then you can go ahead save and exit out of your BIOS and you should get a screen similar to this. So if everything booted correctly and your USB disk or CD DVD launched correctly you'll see something very similar to this where you can try elementary OS without installing it or install elementary OS. We'll go to the second option and hit enter. And then we'll go ahead and give this just a few moments here while it loads everything up. And when the installer finally comes up, we'll go ahead and select the language we want to install with. Mine's English, so I'm going to hit uh, English and OK. Next is the uh, keyboard layout that I want. Uh, English US is fine for me. You can select whatever's right for you. Go ahead and hit continue. Let's go ahead and install the updates while installing elementary. This will save us time later. Uh, you can also uh, select to install the third party software graphics and Wi-Fi hardware if you need it. Uh, I don't need it, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then we got a few options here. Uh, the first option is usually the best. So it notice that I have a clean hard drive with no other operating systems on it. Uh, so it's giving me the option to erase the disk and install elementary in it. 
Uh, other options will be to completely wipe a disk that has another operating system on it. In that case, uh, you want to be make you want to make sure that you are willing to give up anything on that storage device. So make sure you have a clean storage device that you want to use that you don't mind overwriting the information that's already on it. Um, select the uh, erase disk and install elementary option if you want. You can also do a uh, install alongside whatever operating system that you currently have. So I'm going to hit install now. Then it's asking me if I am sure I want to write the changes to this disk and I am. Again, make sure that whatever disk you're installing elementary OS on has nothing on it. Your storage is completely clean. Then go ahead, hit continue. At this point, it will write those changes and then we'll select what time zone we are in. I'm going to go ahead and select, um, I'm in Los Angeles. So let's just hit continue on that. Go ahead and uh, type in uh, your name here and then, so Savvy Nick for me and then Savvy Nick is what I want to call my computer. Uh, the username, Savvy Nick is fine again. And then put in a password that you would like to use. Um, I like to select the login automatically option. Uh, you can also select the require my password to login option. This will just force you to put a password before the desktop screen loads whenever a computer gets restarted. Um, if you don't want anybody getting in there without your password, you better make sure to select the require my password to log in then. Go ahead, hit continue on this. And at this point we'll be copying files over to the storage disk and installing a few items. So this might take a little bit here. Also, a uh, quick note, if you select the little expand button, you can see what is happening in the background. Just in case you like to follow along, you can do that for yourself. Alright, at this point we are done with the installer. Go ahead and hit the restart now button. It's going to close a few services and then it's going to tell you to go ahead and please remove the medium, meaning go ahead and remove the USB CD DVD disc that you have currently in your computer and then go ahead and press enter after you're sure it's removed. Then what will happen is you'll get a reboot and hopefully we'll be logging into our new elementary OS desktop. And here it is. And here it is. Congratulations, you have elementary OS now installed on your computer. I hope you enjoyed this elementary OS UNO you know, install tutorial, and if you did, go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I also have another video where I review elementary OS. Please make sure and check that out as well. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in another video.